Hey everybody, Scott Mitchell here with InMotion Hosting and welcome to another video in our cPanel tutorial series. Okay guys, in this video we're going to show you how to create a table within the PHP My Admin tool in the cPanel. Now the first thing you need to do is log into the cPanel interface as I've already done here. And once you're in there, we're going to look for the database category. Next, locate and click on the PHP My Admin tool icon. This will take you to the tool. All right, now once you're in, look over to the left-hand sidebar and select the database you want to work with. If you have a single database, you're going to see that database name listed up top. If you have more than one database, you're going to see your cPanel username. If that's the case, click on the plus sign and this will expand to show you the list of databases that's on your account. From here, you just click the one you want to work with. In my case, I'm going to work with TST123. Now notice on the right hand side of the screen is a list of the tables that's in this database. And this has one table called Table 1. Under that section, you'll see a Create Table section. It has two fields, one for a name, one for a number of columns. Now in this example, we're going to create a members table. So we need to call it members. And then we need to know the number of columns we want to start with. Now for a members table, we want to have a member ID column, then maybe a first name, a last name, an email address, and a password. So that's five. So put the number of columns here, and then click on the Go button over in the lower right-hand corner. Now, the next screen shows the five columns I put in. They're all blank. We're going to add stuff to that. Now, if you need more columns later, you can add them. It's not a big deal. It's not critical that you get it exactly right right off the bat. Just know that you can change that later. If you have too many, you can delete them. If you don't have enough, you can add more. So we have five blank columns here, and the first one we're going to add is member ID. All right, so this is going to be a number column, so we're going to leave it at integer type. Now, this is also going to be our identifier column. So each member is going to have a unique number. If that's the case, we want to come over here to index and make this a primary index. Okay, this is the primary index for the table, which means there can only be one member with the same number. There can only be one number one, one number 100, one number five, etc. Now, we want this to be easy for us, so we're going to select this AI column, which is auto increment, which means the first person that's going to be entered in the table will get number one, the second will get number two, number three, etc. We don't have to code that, it'll automatically do that for us. The next column we're going to work with is the first name. Okay, this is not a number column. We're going to make this a variable character column. We're going to give it a, a general length here of 25. We don't need any of the rest of this stuff here, so we're going to go ahead and go to the next column, which is last name. Again, this is just like first name, so we're going to make it variable character. And we're going to give them a little bit more space here, so 35 maybe. Again, you don't have to worry about the rest of the things here. The next column we're going to work with is the email address. Again, this is going to be variable character. And we'll let them have 50 characters for this. Okay, and the last column is going to be password. Again, this will be a variable character, and we'll allow them 20 characters. Okay, now this is just for demonstration purposes, so there's nothing here that talks about encryption or anything for password. This is just a demonstration. Once you've entered all the column information, click on the Save button over in the lower right-hand side. Okay, so this takes you right back to the table list screen, and you can see the list of tables now includes the new one we just added. So that's how you create a new table using the PHP My Admin tool in the cPanel. Thanks for joining us for our cPanel tutorial series. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like it and subscribe to our YouTube channel below. Also, don't forget to leave any comments or questions you have in the comment section below so we can bring you future videos. Thanks to see you next time. Do you know the InMotion Hosting Support Center has thousands of articles, pictures, and video tutorials to help you out with your web hosting questions? It's something for everyone, from beginners to experts. Join our community and sign up with your Facebook or Google Plus for free swag, prizes, and discounts. Visit our support center at InMotionHosting.com support.